Turns out this beauty has a little bit of a beast in her. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Zach, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you my top three moments from the sixth episode of Once Upon a Time. This week, we got a lot of information on the Snow Queen's connection to Emma, as well as the backstory on what the heck happened to Anna. I was really glad to see ABC pushing forward like this, because it's probably been overdue for at least a couple of weeks. This episode was titled, Family Business. The first of my top three moments is when Belle travels to Arendelle to have her memory restored. At the beginning of the episode, Belle has a flashback dream when her family's castle was under siege during the Ogre War. The next day, she's reading books while her father has her locked up in her room, and she reads about creatures that can restore memories. Of course, she's referring to the rock trolls in Arendelle, but her father forbids her to go to this land. Naturally, she disobeys him and goes anyway. Her journey takes her to Oaken's Outpost, that doofy merchant guy from the Frozen movie, where she meets Anna, who is also looking for the rock trolls because she needs her memories restored of Ingrid, the Snow Queen, and Helga, another one of their mother's sisters. When the duo go to visit Grandpoppy, he extracts Belle's memories from her mind and turns them into this little stone and says, Go to the place where you lost your memory and make tea. Put this stone in the kettle and when you drink the tea, your memory will be restored. Rock trolls really seem to go to the extremes when doing memory restoration. He also informs Anna that all memory of Ingrid and Helga were erased from all of Arendelle's memory because it was a tragedy the royal family didn't want to have to go through. As they're working their way back to town, a huge storm kicks up that can only be created by the Snow Queen. Belle drops her memory stone and goes to retrieve it. At the same time, a huge gust of wind kicks up and knocks Anna over a ledge, so she is left hanging on for dear life. Ultimately, Belle chooses her memories over Anna, but loses both. She knocks the rock and it falls to the ground shattering, and Anna loses her grip and also falls to the ground unconscious. Then the Snow Queen shows up, and when Belle tries to stop her, says, you'll have to excuse us, this is family business then takes Anna in a wisp of snow. This is what we have all been waiting and wanting for, to see how Anna vanished. Although, I did not see Belle being the reason for it. On the bright side, this connection makes a lot more sense than David talking about meeting Kristoff back in the Enchanted Forest. The second of my top three moments is when Belle comes clean in Storybrooke. When Emma shows the group the videotape of her at the foster home with the Snow Queen, they all split up and take various sections of the town. Belle, however, volunteers to go back to the library and is accompanied by Elsa with slight reluctance. She gets a little squirmy when Elsa is looking for information and can't find any, then says no one in Storybrooke can help her because no one has been to Arendelle or knows Anna. Which, of course, as we know from the Enchanted Forest storyline in this episode, isn't true. Feeling the need to right her wrong, Belle goes to the Snow Queen's lair, accompanied by Mr. Gold, controlling him with his Dark One dagger, looking to see if she can find anything that will help her get Anna back. All she finds is a mirror imbued with dark magic that tells her all of these negative thoughts and calls the dagger out as a fake, which at times it kind of is, and confesses to Rumpelstiltskin that she knows Anna and is the reason that she is missing. I actually like this backstory for Belle, since I've never seen her as the big hero type. It's kind of neat to see that she wants to take action and be the one to save somebody. Also, I kind of enjoy watching Mr. Gold squirm when she says, I'd never lie to you and I know you wouldn't either, because he's been doing that all along. <sighs> Poor Rumple. The third of my top three moments is when Emma discovers the truth behind her connection with the Snow Queen. When Emma splits off from the group after watching the videotape at the beginning of the episode, she finds the Snow Queen's ice truck in the woods. In the truck, she finds a locked ice box that Hook breaks open with his hook, and discovers a file with information on her since she got to the real world, even before she was in the foster care system. It turns out the Snow Queen was Emma's foster mom for six months. This file contains childhood pictures, news articles, and a scroll with hieroglyphics that don't look like anything from this world. Moving forward, I think it's going to be very interesting to see Emma's emotions when she confronts the Snow Queen about all she has learned. This is one family reunion you're not going to want to miss. 
In the final scene, Hook, Emma, and Elsa are looking over family heritage books that they found in the library, and Elsa discovers that the Snow Queen, or Ingrid, is her aunt. She then looks at the scroll and recognizes the ruins as writing from Arendelle. She deciphers the scroll, telling the group that it's a prophecy that says the name of the savior is Emma, and the savior will become Ingrid's sister. Belle enters and admits everything to Elsa, that she knows Anna and she's the reason she's missing, then tells them that the Snow Queen is planning on using a spell called Shattered Sight to turn the whole town against each other so that it will only be Elsa, Emma, and Ingrid remaining, her perfect family. Those are my top three moments from the sixth episode of Once Upon a Time. Is this the information you've been waiting for? And if it was, what are your reactions to it? I'm still really shocked over the fact that Belle is the reason that Anna's missing, and I want to know what's going to happen with the sorcerer's hat. Is Ingrid going to get trapped inside, or is she going to steal the sorcerer's hat and then wipe everyone out if this shattered spell fails? Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to punch the like button if you enjoyed it, share it around with your friends, hit that little subscribe button up there to be notified of all my latest videos, and comment below so we can chat. You can find me at Zach Attack on Facebook and Google+, as well as ZXK77 on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to check out my previous video in the series, you can click over that way. All of these links will be in the description below. It's been great talking to you, and I'll see you in my next video. Live to be different, and be who you were born to be.